in version 4.5, we have added a formula editor to allow you to add custom calculated rows into a Zebra BI table. This means that you can now add your custom rows that are not in your data set via a simple formula directly on the visual. Let me show you exactly how to do that. So we'll try to add a gross profit as percent of revenue into this data set here. I will right click on the uh, gross profit and select the add formula command from the menu. Okay, now I'm in the focus mode and as you see at the top here, I have a brand new formula editor. So to add a new row, it is quite straightforward. Number one, insert the name. So simply type the name. In my case, this is going to be gross profit percent, like that. You can then press tab or simply click to move into the uh, edit box for the formula. Now, how to enter the formula? Simply start typing like, for example, gross and now the autocomplete feature that we have added, we have developed here, will actually search for all the elements that you have already in your data set and will just uh, provide you the tip so you can press tab again uh, to enter gross profit. All right. Now I will divide this by my revenue. So I simply type the division symbol. So you can use any math symbol like division, multiplication, plus minus, and so on. And so I'll divide this by the revenue. Again, Zebra BI has actually found an element called revenue. So you can now click on it or press tab. And this is it. This is my formula, gross profit divided by revenue. All right. Um, now you can also format this custom row here. For example, uh, you can format is it as a percentage just by clicking on the percent symbol here. Um, there are also a couple of quick formatting options here. You can make it bold, you can make it italics, and this is it. I'm ready. So when your formula is done, simply click on the add button and the new row is added here. As you can see, gross profit percent as a percent of revenue. It is formatted as a percentage and it is um, shown in all the columns that you have in your Zebra BI tables, meaning this will work uh, for your previous year measures, actual measures. It will also work for the custom calculated variances like we have here. Uh, the absolute variance, it's 0 0.8 uh, percentage points here and also the relative variance. So from now on, I have a completely new item in my table, a completely new row that was not in my data set and I simply added it uh, with this simple formula. All right, let's just add one more um, for uh, an exercise. So uh, net income, add formula. So we'll also calculate the net income as percent of revenue. So I'll just type net income percent tab. And now I'll find the net income tab divided by revenue. And once again, format this as a percentage, make it bold, italics, add the formula. And I have another custom calculated element in my table here. So in this way, you can add as many formulas as you want to your tables. Uh, and it's very easy. I hope this will um, make your dashboards, your tables, your table base report, reports much more understandable and very easy to make, even if you don't have all of those elements in your data set.